Okay, here are the top five tips that I would give anyone who decided to start their own search. Number one, manage your expectations. It's a big world out there. You don't know what you're gonna find. Be okay with the reasons that you're searching. Identify the reasons that you're searching. Are you missing somebody in your life? Do you wanna know about your, your um, genetic background? Is it that you're trying to find out how you came to be? Who are your relatives? What nationality are you? For example, when I was searching, I had no idea. People would come up to me all the time and say, oh, are you Hispanic? Are you black? Are you what? I didn't know, and I wanted to know. If you were searching for your biological family, go ahead and sweat the small stuff. I know you hear the opposite all the time. It's in the details, the little minutia that you're gonna find who these people are. For me, it was a matter of two letters being flipped, an A and an E. I tried for several years to find my biological family, couldn't find them because those two letters were switched. Know why you're searching. Are you searching to replace someone in your life? Are you searching to find out your medical history? Just go ahead and identify that. I was searching because I needed to find out my biological history. I wanted to know my genetics. If I had decided to have a child, what was I facing? As an adoptee, every time I went to the doctor, the doctor would ask me questions. I would say I was adopted, and he would put a rubber stamp on, and that was the end of the story. I needed to know those answers. I needed to do that. A couple of emotions that you don't expect when you finally decide that you're going to search for a biological family family is anxiety. I had no idea how anxious I would become every time the phone rang, anytime somebody knocked at the door. Also, sadness. Sadness because you don't know what's going to happen. And also, you're sort of mourning the loss of the life that you once had. Try, and I know this may be the hardest thing, to not take it personally. What happened 30 years ago had nothing to do with you. There were different circumstances. It could have been socioeconomic. It could have been the place that they were at. It could have been the times. It could have been the culture. It could have been so many things. So try to sit back and look at it from their perspective before you go out on this journey.